What's up guys, so um, today I'm just going to show you guys how to access like a, a USB uh, flash drive or hard drive or maybe a SATA hard drive or something on a Linux operating system, specifically um, an Ubuntu operating system like a server OS through the terminal or you could even do it on a desktop through the terminal. But um, mainly in server OSs you don't have like a GUI to access the drives and you have to sort of know how to do it. So. Um, I haven't been able to find a good video on how to do it, and that was, well, that was a while ago when I searched, but, so I thought I'd do one myself. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and SSH into the drive, we'll secure a shell, and this is uh, my server, one of my servers, uh, it's running Ubuntu server, I believe it's 12.04, and so we're just going to log into it here. Alright, so, um... I'm using for this uh, a hard drive. I'm using a, a two terabyte hard drive. So let's go ahead and blow this here. Um, so basically, in order to access the drive and get files from it, uh, add or take files from it, you have to mount the drive. You have to do what's called mounting the drive. Now, like in Windows and whatnot, it takes care of it for you. It does everything for you. You plug the drive in, and like a little autoplay thing comes up. But in Linux, it's a little bit more advanced. So you have to mount the drive first, and in order to mount the drive, you have to know the device name. So the first uh, thing we'll do is we'll type in a command called DMESG, and basically what this is going to do is it's going to show all the hardware that's connected to the server. Everything from just a little USB mouse or whatever, all the way up to, you know, your hard drive, your main drives, your, um, you know, like the drives that the OS is on and things like that. This is the drive that we're looking at here you can see uh, out of all this crap usually in the end or somewhere usually I, it, for me it's always been towards the end there might be an easier way to do this but this is the way I've always done it and it's always worked for me but uh, we can see that the the device is SDC it's the Seagate GoFlex uh, drive that's the name of the drive that I'm running it'll be your d drive name here and then it'll have the size of it uh, slightly below it so it's a two terabyte drive and you can see that it's um, it shows all the the number of logical blocks. It shows their block size um, and whatnot. You don't need to know all that. Basically, what you're looking for is the the device name. So we can see that it's SDC is what it shows up as. So I've made a folder, um, um, a directory called mount. So if I go ls, you can see that there's some random file here. I don't even know what the heck that is. Um, something that I put out here on here at one point, but there's a there's a folder called mount, and there's nothing in there. And just to prove that to you, we'll go ahead and go ls mount, just like that. And you can see that nothing came up. So it's just a uh, blank folder. Um, if you don't know how to make a folder, you just go ahead and say mkdir, and then the folder name. So mount, and it's gonna say that it already exists here because it does. So um. We have the folder uh, mount, ls mount, and there's nothing inside of it. So in order to use the U, uh, the USB device or whatever it may be, you have to mount it. So basically what that does is it pins all the files somewhere onto a, uh, onto a directory in your Linux operating system. Now you can put it anywhere. You can put it in a user file. You can put it in the home folder, uh, the main folder, whatever you want to do, the root directory but you have to pin it to some folder somewhere. Now I prefer to do a, a blank folder called mount or whatever folder, you can name it whatever you want to do. You can name it any kind of file you want, but I prefer to do it to an empty one. The reason is, is because if I take it and I put it to a folder that has files in it already, you're gonna be confused on what's actually on the drive and what's on your server or your other, your operating system versus what's on the USB drive. So you're not going to know what's part of what. Whereas if I have this mount folder, which I just listed, and there's nothing in it, you know that everything that shows up in the mount folder when you mount it is what's on your drive. So we're going to go ahead and mount the drive to that mount folder. So to mount the drive, you have to go, you have to put the, we'll use the command mount. So you have to use the command mount, and then you have to put the device name. So you have to go slash device. You always have to put the slash device. And then once you're done with that, you put slash um, S 
SDC here because it's the device C. That's what we're looking to do. That stands for SCSI drive C or SCSI disk C, whatever you want to call it. And then um, you add, uh, I put a one onto the end of it. This is the partition. So it's going to SCSI disk C partition one. So that's the drive, that's the partition, the drive and partition that you're mounting. Then you put a space and you put where you want to mount it to. So we're going to go ahead and mount it to the folder called mount. Again, you can name the folder whatever you want. Um, I know they're called directories, but I'm used to calling them folders from Windows, whatever. Um, it's saying that you have to be root to do that. So we'll go ahead and sudo that. And it's going to ask for my password. So there we go. And it says, sometimes it'll say this. The file system wasn't safely closed on Windows, and it's going to say fixing. So you can see that it's done doing that now, and that it has mounted that. Um, so if we go ahead and ls mount, and whoa, um, oh, this probably isn't a good example to be using for this, but these are all uh, just movies. These are just folders. Um, I promise you these are all legal. Um, so this is just a bunch of folders in here, so you can see that... Um, there's just a ton of movies on my on my drive so we just if you saw here we listed the mount folder now see ls mount after we mounted this drive we mounted the drive um, to the mount folder we listed the mount folder and now this is everything that's on that hard drive you can see slightly above it we listed the mount folder and nothing came up we mounted the drive here and now we listed the mount again and it lists all the files that are on the drive now again if you're mixing it if there was already files in that folder then you mounted it again the problem is that um when you when you go to uh look at the files inside the folder you're going to be mixed with files that are on the drive and files that are in that folder before you mounted the drive and you're not going to know what's what so that's why i recommend making a clean folder and just doing it to an empty folder every time. So um, let's go ahead and put a file on this drive. So um, we're going to use the copy command. You can also use the move command. And um, this file up here that's just kind of chilling up here, this is in the home directory uh, on, my, on my account. So if we go ahead and just copy um, that file, we'll say copy F because it's the only file, we'll hit tab and it'll automatically do it. It's some uh, Microsoft file here. This is not something that's going to run on Linux, but something I probably put in here at one point. We're going to copy that to the drive. So we're going to copy it to um, the, the mount folder, M-O-U-N-T. That's all you have to do is just copy it to the folder that your drive is mounted to, or the directory. So if I do that command, it's going to copy this file from the home directory to the mount folder. It takes just a second. And now um, we're going to go ahead and ls mount one more time. And you can see here that this file is now inside this um, mount folder. Um, and just to prove that's you, I'll go ahead and hook it up to my Windows machine here. And we'll see that it actually moved that file to this drive. So um, before we unhook the drive or we disconnect the drive, um, I know you don't do this in Windows a lot, or most of you probably don't you eject the drive here we have to unmount the drive now I kinda recommend it in Linux uh, you know the world's not gonna end if you forget to do it usually I've never had it end for me but um you're gonna wanna go U M O U N T so it's just the same process as backwards you just add a U U mount that stands for unmount the drive slash device slash SDC one and it um, oh, it's flipping out because um, I'm not um, root, so we'll go ahead and sudo that. And it just did it. So um, let me just reach over here and unplug the drive from my server. And I'll plug it into uh, crap, my laptop here. And it's going to have the uh, little thing pop up the uh, open folders of you files or open drive or whatever the autoplay thing so it's much easier in Windows than it is in Linux 
And uh, while it's while we're waiting for that, I just want to show you now that if we uh, we'll go ahead and clear the screen. Um, if we type uh, ls mount, now you'll notice that there's nothing in there. Even though we copied that file over to the mount folder, um, that file because the drive was mounted to that folder while we were copying that that little file it actually put it on the drive so that's what I wanted to show you that if you're copying files to the mount folder or to any folder while the drive is mounted to it it's gonna copy that file to the drive so now you can see that there's no files and there's nothing in there it's an empty folder that's because we unmounted the drive and we it, the drive is no longer there so now uh, here's the little um, autoplay thing and here's the drive and you can see at the bottom here is that file that we copied over that FHFS installer so um that's pretty much it for this video guys um hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and um have a good one